You can feel it these days, the weather turning cooler in the morning and evenings. But gardening doesn't have to end thanks to a method that's growing in popularity. Jordan's live at Fox Valley Tech where they're offering hydroponics for the beginner. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. It's back to school day. Yes, the students are back after a whole long summer break, but they're excited to be back. And we have one of the instructors here, Kat. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. First question, we got to get this out of the way. Are you excited for school to start? I'm very excited for school to start. All right, very cool. So you are teaching the um, community hydroponics class, exactly. What is What is this? Oh, uh, the community hydroponics class is a great way for homeowners to get out there, get a chance to experience the technology that's available mm -hmm. without having to spend an arm and a leg buying it all first to find out whether or not they can handle it. Yeah, that's cool. So here in this building, we are growing innovations here. Chris, that <laughs> one's for you, buddy. Uh, but we have a lot of things over here. What, what are these? these? You said uh, these are not big plants. They're, uh, they're small ones, these, right? These are the microgreens. <laughs> And um, in this situation, we do the initial growing stages. These are perfect to add to salads. They don't get much larger than this. They're about ready for harvest. Oh, very cool. So all you're doing here is you literally just have a little pan there. You have some water and you have some LED lights, and you get a really great product. Absolutely. They come in nice, thick, and lush, and then you can cut them off and nibble them as is or throw them on top of a salad. Well, you said cut and nibble. And nibble. I, I see a scissors over here. I mean, can I? Can I? You may. All right. Here we go, everybody. So well, I'll let you do it for me because I got my hands full. Anyway, so what are we trying here again? This is radish. And how, can I just have one? You may have one. All right. Hmm. It's pretty leafy. All right. <laughs> okay, well, let's <laughs> see what else is over here because, Rosie, excuse us. So we have this little cool setup here, and I've seen these in motion before. I mean, the LED lights are here, and then you put the plants around it. You know, uh, this is kind of like a step up from, you know, the beginner stage, right? Absolutely. This is the Fork Farms vertical unit. Uh, we have another vertical unit that's more of a do-it-yourself style uh, down the hall here. Um, but basically, we put our plants into these in a checkerboard pattern to give them growing space as they get larger. And this is um, one of the most advanced sections that we have here. It's a really great unit to grow a lot in a yeah. small space. This is the future, right? I mean, you could, this is going to be the things that people, the farmers, really take a hold of. And Absolutely. Of. There's a lot of urbanization going on. About 2 million acres of cropland are lost each year. So hydroponics is a great way to bring that back into the city, continue to grow things, even though we're losing that outdoor space. Yeah. So you guys can learn about it right now because... She said it is the future. Now we have Nathan over here. You've been taking care of this uh, all throughout the summer year while the students were gone. What do we have growing here? So over here, this is our fresh leafy lettuce. Mm -hmm. It's pest-free. Uh, we grow it all ourselves. It's, it's just great. Yep. Uh, over here, we have our baby lettuce. This is what gets moved into here. Mm -hmm. And over here we have, this is our chamomile. Okay. So chamomile is actually a great herb that you can use in tea. You just right. steep it in a cup of tea and it has amazing benefits for you. Okay. Moving down the line here, we have some thyme and some sage at the end. Both right. great herbs that you can grow in hydroponics. And some things that we have done in the past is tomatoes. Tomatoes have been great for us. We've gotten so many fruits and it's something that you can do at home if you don't like getting dirty. Cool. Well, unfortunately, we have run out of time, uh, but we have another segment here, and we can uh, tell you that during that segment how you can get involved in uh, everything that you can learn here in the class. All right. Gardening doesn't have to end. Thanks, no, Jordan. No, <laughs> we'll doesn't. be right back.